If you want to start using Facebook lookalike audiences to get more of your ideal customers to your website and your offers, you're not going to want to miss this video. Howdy and welcome to the Laptop Empire show. My name is Mike Yonda, co-founder of LaptopEmpires.com. And if you're not already a subscriber to this channel, you're going to want to go ahead, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our great content. Today, we're going to be talking about lookalike audiences and how you can use this powerful type of audience to drive more high quality cold traffic to your website, your offers, your content, or whatever it is that you're wanting to promote with Facebook ads. Now, a lot of people talk about the power of the interest targeting on the Facebook ad platform and how you can reach just about any person for any interest that you can think of or a combination of them to find your perfect ideal customer. But what a lot of people are missing out on is that there's actually a better way, and that's relying on the algorithm of the Facebook ads themselves, okay? Facebook has more data than you can believe, and they are way smarter than we are when it comes to reaching the right people. And so you can actually use something called a lookalike audience where you give some information to Facebook, usually in the form of an audience like uploading an email list, people that watch videos, customer lists, those sorts of things. You give them this information, and then they will go out and find people that look the most like that audience and are most likely to convert in your ads. This is way more powerful than choosing the targeting yourself because like I said, that computer, that machine is way smarter than we ever could be. So today we're going to dive into what lookalike audiences are, how they work. I'm going to show you how to create them and the different options you have so you can start using these powerful audiences in your Facebook ads. Now, before we dive into this, I want to define what a lookalike audience is. Put simply, it's taking a custom audience, which if you don't know what a custom audience is, check out this video. It's going to be super helpful for you. But in short, it's taking something like your list of email subscribers and uploading that into Facebook. That way you have this audience that you could target with ads. But what you can also do with it is you can have Facebook go find the 1%, 2%, 3%, whatever you choose, that percentage of people on Facebook that look the most like that uploaded audience, that custom audience. And they do this using a lot of different things because there's like hundreds of different data points that Facebook has on each individual. So they're going to use things like age, demographics, uh, interest, behaviors, all of these things. And they're going to find the people that look most like the people on your list. So if I'm on that list, they're going to say, okay, who is most like Mike Yonda based on their interest on Facebook, their age and other demographics, and the behaviors that they have, the type of ads they respond to, those sorts of things. So it's very powerful. And then Facebook starts targeting those people on Facebook using that audience. Now, as you'll see when we jump into Ads Manager, there's lots of different ways that you can create lookalike audiences. There's different custom audiences you can choose. But one of the best ones that you can use by far is your customers, right? Like think about this. You could upload something like your email subscribers or people that visit your website, and that can be a really great audience of finding people that are interested in the things that you're talking about. But let's say you're trying to get more buyers, which as a business owner, you probably are. What better way than to find the people that look most like the people that have already bought your product or service? And that's one of the most powerful look like audiences you can make. But it's very important that you keep in mind what is your goal? Because if you are trying to grow the traffic to your blog and get more people to your blog, then you might want to use the website visitors as your custom audience and create a look alike of those people. But if you're trying to drive people to your blog and get them to purchase an affiliate product through a link in that article, then you probably want to create a lookalike based on the people that have actually bought that affiliate product or bought that affiliate product through that article. That's going to be a better audience. So you always got to keep that goal in mind when you're choosing who's going to be part of that lookalike audience. Now, the last question before we dive into Ads Manager, a lot of people always ask, how many people do you need to have in that custom audience in order to you know, be able to create a lookalike? And the technical answer is that you need a minimum of 20 people. So if you have 25 people that have bought your new product, you could technically create a lookalike audience based on that customer list. But let's be real. Even though that's the technical minimum, it's not going to be a very good audience. You need a lot more people than that. And I'm going to recommend that you create lookalikes based on audiences that have a thousand or more people in them. Okay. But 
you may not have that right away. So you might have to run an interest-based audience or something of that nature until you build up the audience that you want to use a lookalike for. But I would recommend starting to test lookalikes as soon as possible. And it's okay if you do create a lookalike based on a smaller audience, especially if you have a few hundred people in it. Go ahead, create it, test it against your interests and see what gets you the best results possible. It's all about testing when it comes to Facebook ads. Now let's go ahead and dive into ads manager so I can show you how to actually create one of these audiences. All right, here we are inside ads manager, but we need to get over to the audiences menu. So if you go to the top left, you're going to be able to come down here and the second column where it says advertise, you'll see audiences right under audience manager or ads manager. Now yours might look slightly different because Facebook is constantly tweaking these menus and how they look and they don't ever roll them out at the same time to everybody. So if you're watching this video, three years from now, or if you just have a slightly different uh, variation, it's okay. Just find the audiences window, click on it, and you're going to pull up a screen where you're going to be able to see the audiences that you have created, and you're going to be able to create new audiences. So you can see a ton of different audiences here, mostly video audiences for some little uh, videos that we have rolling. Um, and then up here at the top, there's a blue button where you can create audiences. Now there's a two part process to creating a lookalike audience because in order to create a lookalike, you have to be able to tell Facebook what you want the audience to look like. So you got to show them a custom audience. All right. So if you want to learn more about custom audiences, check the link in uh, the description. Um, and that's going to walk you through how to actually create these, but I'm going to give you a very quick tutorial and then you can go there if you want to go more in depth. So you're going to click custom audience here and you're going to have a bunch of options that are going to pop up. And so there's things like website traffic, which is going to allow you to actually click and choose, uh, you know, a website. You can go here, all website visitors, or you can do a specific page and you can put a specific page on your website that you want the audience to be based around. Um, you can also go to custom audiences and do things like video or lead forms. Like if you, you know, you can do your Facebook page. So you could actually create one based on the people that have engaged with your page and you can get very specific. Did they visit your page? Did they engage with a post, meaning like comment or share? Did they send a message? You can get really detailed on the types of audiences that you want to create. But the most common ones that we're going to use and the ones that, you know, we like to use the most are going to be your customer lists. Okay. And this is going to allow you to import. You see, we like to use a, a file, but you're going to be able to upload a file of people that have subscribed to your email list, have purchased your product, whatever it may be. Now you can use this one. This is the old school way of uploading, but you also have the option to do this customer lifetime value version where you're going to be able to not only upload the contact information, name, email, phone number, that type of thing of your buyers, but you're going to be able to go and add information about how much they've spent. And this is going to allow Facebook to not only go find people that look like your buyers, but find people that look like your best buyers. Pretty powerful stuff. But if you don't have that information yet, it's okay. You just upload a file. You're literally going to drag and drop. You're going to go here. You're going to drag in a CSV file, some sort of Excel file. You're going to name it. You're going to hit next and it's going to publish something for you. You're going to end up having an audience. This one is an engagement one, but here's a customer list and you're going to be able to see look, active members, buyers, right? Boom. And it doesn't show how many people are in there. Um, they've kind of removed that information, but we know because we uploaded it. Then from there, you're going to dive into the second piece, which is creating the actual lookalike audience. And so you'll hit the blue button again and go to lookalike. Now from here, you're going to be able to choose all of the information to set up your audience. The first thing that you're going to choose is the source. Okay. And the source is going to be those custom audiences that we mentioned. And so you can go in and you can do here. This is one people that watch 25% of a particular video. If I were creating a lookalike to get more people to watch the video, this would be a great option. Um, I can scroll down. I have a ton of video audiences. We got page engagement. If I were to go down here and choose the buyers, right? I could take this buyers list and say, okay, I want to find more people that look like these buyers. Then you got to choose your region. I'm going to go ahead and put in the United States. We are from the US and we want to get more people from the United States buying our product. But if we wanted to go ahead and add in like the UK, we have a lot of people from the UK in our audience. We could do that as well. 
And then finally, you can go ahead and choose how big you want the audience to be. And you do that by choosing the audience size, whether you want to create what we call a 1% audience, which is finding the people that are the 1% of people in the country you're targeting that look the most similar to the people in your source audience or this custom audience at the top. But you can do 2% all the way to 10%. Now, the thing to keep in mind here is that the bigger the audience size, the bigger, you know, the, the more you go, if you go to 10%, you see here, that's 26 million people. 1% is only going to be 2.6 million people. So obviously the bigger percentage you go, the bigger the audience is going to be, but you run the risk of these people are less similar. So it may be a less powerful audience. All right. So we tend to like to use 1% and 2% audiences. I usually use a 1% audience when I'm targeting in the U S but if I'm specifically looking for people say in the UK, which is smaller, it's only going to get us 400,000. I might go to a 2% or even a 3% to get a bigger audience. The big thing here when you're thinking about audience size is I like to have 450, 500,000 or more. If I can have over a million or closer to 2 million, even better. Like that's especially true with interests. With lookalikes, you can get away for, from it a little bit. But as long as you're at that 400,000 or over, you're probably going to do pretty well. But I do test bigger, you know, uh, percentages when I'm doing something like the United Kingdom. Now, if you want to test multiple audiences, you can go here where it says number of lookalike audiences and you could change this to say three and it's going to allow you to create multiples. But the only thing I don't like about doing this is as you can see, it creates ranges. So you're going to have zero to 1%, 1% to 2%, see there, and 2% to 3%. They're all about the same size. So you could test that and that might work out really well for you. But sometimes if I want to test a 1% versus a 2%, I actually want to test zero to 1% and zero to 2%, right? So I want to see from that 2% audience that 800,000 people that are going to come through in the, in the UK. All right. So that's something to keep in mind. If you want to test ranges, go for it. Then you won't have that overlap, but I tend to like testing that full audience. But once you get it here, you can see I've created 1%. I'm going to go ahead and hit create. And then Facebook's going to start doing its magic. It's not going to pop up right away. You're going to see here below a thousand people and that it's populating. It's going to take a few minutes maybe even up to an hour for this thing to start populating. But when you get done with that, it's going to have that 400,000 people that it said it was going to, right? It's actually going to get there. So if you want to leave and exit and go start creating your ads using this audience, you certainly can. And the time that it takes you to get them all ready and then the ad gets approved and everything, the audience should be good to go. If you want to wait until it's fully populated, that works too, whatever works best for you. And that's it for our lesson on lookalike audiences. As I said at the beginning, this is just a basic overview of how lookalikes work. There's a lot more that goes into this. We can go a lot deeper, but I want you to be able to quickly watch this video and go create your first lookalike audiences and start seeing how they perform. So just keep in mind, there's a couple of things you can test here. You can create audiences based on your customer list, based on your website traffic, based on your email subscribers, even ones based on people engaging with your page or people that have watched certain percentages of your video. So think about the end goal for what you're trying to do with your ad campaign and then create a lookalike of people based on an audience that have accomplish that goal already. If you do that, you're going to do really well with lookalike audiences and you're going to see that your lookalikes are actually going to outperform your interest targeting eight out of 10 times when you're testing different audiences. Okay. This stuff's incredibly powerful. Trust the algorithm, the algorithm. That's usually, I can't pronounce it, but that's usually the best way to get results with your Facebook ads. So that's it. We're done for the day. Thank you so much for watching the laptop empire show. We appreciate it. Subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos and we'll see you next week.